Okay, so in this video, I will try to explain you how I did my all comping process. Uh, this is going to be kind of detailed video that how I did everything. So first thing uh, you can see, this is the whole thing uh, that I did for this shot. So first thing I split up all my passes, uh, the diffuse color, diffuse indirect and this thing. And then we have glossy color, glossy direct and then glossy indirect. So basically you have to split up this thing like that and to make things easier i will just create another one so basically what you have to do is uh you have to take your main pass there uh you have to add a beauty denoised node you have to add a shuffle and you have to select your beauty denoised thing then you have to use another shuffle then another and then another and in the first one you have to use diffuse color so basically you have to just double click and then you have to just select a diffuse color uh, right now you can't see anything because the file is kind of corrupted but you will see the diffuse color if you render your passes from blender and in order to render the passes from blender you just have to go to the blender in this option you just have to enable everything except uh, this grease pencil enable everything light diffuse and everything oh right now this is in the ev you have to make sure that you use cycles and you can also use ev for the passing thing but cycle is better just enable everything except uh, crease pencil this thing and denoising and this three things enable this options and then everything like this except this and this so basically you are rendering all the passes and in the file uh, format you have to select open exr multi-layer and in this one half and this one you have to select dua so that's the basically the process and when you render now uh, you will get all the exr passes in your file so if i just show you how you will get this so this is my exr file and if i just click on this and if i go to this rgba one you can see we have ambient occlusion on uh, diffuse color diffuse direct glossy transmission color and everything so when you connect your main exr to your shuffle node then uh, you have to use a merge plus and merge multiply uh, you can just copy this thing i will put a screenshot of this thing uh, how you can do this if i just um, you, you just have to copy this so this thing this thing and this thing so basically it's very uh, straightforward you have to just use three shuffle node there three there three there three there then you have to use two merge two merge two merge one merge so let's start with this volume and direct you have to make sure that you use plus operation you have to connect this one to this this one to this that's it then you have to use this merge plus you have to connect this one this one to this and then you have to connect this one to this one like this then you have this three basically you have to do the same process in this one also and in this one also after when this thing is done you have to take another merge you have to add this thing to this and then you have to add another merge plus operation and then you have to add this thing to this and the last one you have to connect this thing to your last merge plus uh, so you can see the whole thing and the last one is the emission pass so emission is like any kind of emission thing uh, in your render and if there is uh, no emission then you don't have to do this thing but if if you have some sort of light the emission lights are something like that you can add this then you're done uh, you don't need this thing when your thing is done like this so this is the setup that you will make uh, so you will see something like this okay you can also remove this so basically this is the setup you have to just select everything uh, and then you have to just click on this button uh, the range and tool set button you have to click on create and then you have to name your thing for example blender passes something like that click on create and it will create a tool set so you can see there i have this blender passes tool set and when i click on this one you will see that my tool set is ready so basically the the advantage of this thing is you can reuse your things again and again so basically that's the uh think in the passes one uh so first thing what you have to do you have to use your ambient occlusion so if i just show you my ambient occlusion pass let's go to the rgb alpha so the ambient occlusion will give you better shadows if you see there i'm getting better shadows overall shadows to everything so it's very simple you have to just use your exr file then you have to use your shuffle so basically if you don't know about the shuffle shuffle is help us to 
uh, kind of separate our channels from our main rgba thing because in our exr file we have this things like all the passes and everything so in order to tell nuke that which pass you have to use we have to use shuffle node so in the shuffle node you have to select your view layer ao ao means ambient occlusion then you have to use a merge and you have to add this thing to your merge thing and this is called crypto mat so basically crypto mat will help you to kind of select areas if i just click on this one you can see we have all this crypto mat and if i just click on for example um, if i just control c and if i duplicate this if i double click if i clear everything you can see we can select things like this so basically we are controlling uh, all kind of elements and everything with the help of crypto mat so you don't have to do this uh, you just have to multiply your thing so basically i'm doing this crypto mat because i want to deselect my character if i just disable this and if i just remove this you can see now we are also kind of affecting the character but i don't want this character to be affected by the ambient inclusion pass so that's why i'm just using this crypto mat to get rid of this area so if i just enable and disable you can see the character is not affected so basically that's the use of ambient occlusion just to get better shadows in overall render then uh, you have to do sky replacement for example so in the sky replacement one i'm using a image of this then i'm using a card so you can see the card there like this so you just need this card node then you need a clan uh, sorry scan line render so basically this is the 3d system of nuke you have to use this thing in order to project or do this type of things so you have to use this node and you have to export your camera from blender to nuke so this is the camera and when i merge everything it will properly kind of tracked into my scene so right now you can see this is tracked in so if i just merge everything on top of my main thing so this is the main uh, render and i'm just adding this thing on top of my main render the sky one so if i just go and disable my sky you can see i'm adding the sky uh, one problem you will face while doing the sky replacement is um, the sky will not gonna track properly the reason why because um, you have to make sure that you put the sky far away uh, right now you can see there and yeah another thing if you want to go to your 3d viewport like this you have to press tab to go to 2d and 3d you can also click on this one 2d 3d something like this so make sure that you put your card very far away from your camera so there is my camera you can see i think it is visible uh, this is my camera there in the center and this is kind of very far away from the camera because if it is kind of closer to your camera it will not gonna track properly so you have to make sure that it is kind of far away from your camera when you do this thing it will kind of properly track in there right now you can see everything is properly tracked in so basically these are the kind of three concepts that i just told you the first one is how to use diffuse color passes and everything the second one is the ambient occlusion one and the third one is how to replace your sky and in the next session or in next video i will try to explain more things what i did everything uh, in this comp so it's a lot of things it will be so fun you will learn a lot of new things okay so this is part two of uh, explaining how this compositing thing works today we will talk about how to add more things so what i did in this comp so this one is the dust one so if i just add this you can see we are having this type of dust if i enable sorry if i enable and disable so i just render them uh in in a separate layer then i'm just using that volume direct and volume indirect and then i'm plusing this thing so basically uh it is kind of similar when you are rendering your thing in blender the uh smoke thing vdbs you don't need this type of passes diffuse glossy transmission you just need volume because basically the smoke is volume so you just need the volume passes you just have to enable this too you don't need any crypto mat you don't need anything just this volume thing and you're good to go you just have to do the setup that i already told you use 
this shuffle this shuffle in the first one you have to select volume direct and in the second one you have to just select volume indirect then you have to merge it plus you can merge on top of this thing so the problem you will face when you merge this thing it will look something like this so right now you can see this is kind of very light uh, i will just go just a bit further yeah you can see there this is looking very weird right now you can see this is kind of lighter in color uh, the original one is something like this but you will get something like this so why you are getting this type of stuff because of the alpha so in order to fix the alpha you have to use a copy node just press tab and use copy you will get this copy channel thing you have to just connect your b thing to your main merge one and then you have to use this a1 to your alpha so in the shuffle one you can see i'm using the combine pass if i just show you this is the combine pass and make sure that you use or not use make sure that you connect this alpha one if this is disconnect this thing will not gonna work so you have to make sure that you connect this one to this so that you are getting the alpha channel you can see there if you press a on your keyboard you will get you will uh, see your alpha channel and you can also go there just to select alpha and you will change the things to rgb or to alpha like this you have to connect your a to your this thing and then your b to your main bdp when you do this thing uh, you will see that your alpha is probably working and if i just merge this thing on top of my everything like the main render uh, then it will look something like this you can see the smoke is properly visible and if i disable this thing you will see that white uh, smoky thing okay so basically that's the problem you will face and i just told you the solution how to fix that this thing is done then we have the shigi hairs uh, so basically i just add shigiraki hairs at the end uh, because you can see there i think hopefully you will see if i just disable my dust yeah you can see there this is the shiggy hairs so basically i did the same thing i just add all the passes shuffle node with the help of shuffle node same thing that i told you earlier in the main setup in this one if you remember this is the uh, glossy thing glossy color you can technically you can just control c this and then you can just go to your main one where is that this one and you can just paste it here so this one will also work you have to just connect this thing we have the diffuse color diffuse indirect or not this one sorry yeah this one we have the diffuse color uh, not diffuse glossy color direct and indirect so you just have to merge them like this that i already told you in the part one and basically i'm just adding the grade in order to control the brightness and everything of the stuff you can see this is very bright and i just uh, add a grade to reduce the brightness and the color of the hairs then in this one also i'm changing the color and everything so when you will merge this thing on top of each other it will look something like that so if i enable and disable this you can see this is very bright uh, so I will just show you how it will look without anything. So this is kind of raw render that I got from Blender. And when I did some color correction, I'm getting this. This is kind of just a bit lighter so that it can match with the background properly. So basically that's the advantage of uh, passes. Then I'm just adding a blur. Uh, the reason why I'm adding blur because the background is kind of blurry right now. And the hairs are kind of very sharp. You can see there. This is crystal clear thing. There is no motion blur in, uh, or anything. So I'm using a blur node just to get rid of this sharp look. You can see. So yeah, that's the hair thing. And then we have Shigi hand. So basically you can't see anything hands there in the Shigiraki. So I just add the hand like this. You can see there. So I did the same thing. I render the hand separately like this. Uh, and then I just do the same shuffle thing. The uh, I split up all my passes, glossy and these things, and then I merge them like that so that I can control all the passes. So I'm uh, changing the color and everything. You can see this is the default render that I got from Blender, and this is after color grading and 
changes then i just add the shadow catcher so basically the shadow catcher is the shadow interaction that you will get in the ground section in the blender you will get this uh, where is that shadow catcher option uh, where is the yeah this one you have to enable this thing and you will get your shadow catcher means your shadows then again you have to make sure that you use copy to alpha thing that i already told you in the test one because this is important if you're not doing this you will not gonna get proper alpha of your thing you just have to use copy to alpha uh, connect your main thing to your b channel and your a to your uh, up one. Oh, where is that sorry and you will get your alpha after that i just use a grid wrap uh, if i just show you uh if i just disable this two thing so yeah you can see there the hands are not working properly with the character so i'm using this grid wrap tool just to wrap the things around so if you use this grid wrap you can see this is kind of creating uh, this is creating this type of grid effect and now you can select individual point and you can drag them down and kind of you can reshape your things properly with the help of this grid wrap problem you will get while using this grid wrap and that is uh, it will crash your nuke maybe i'm not sure but i was getting um, some crashes while using this grid wrap tool basically you have to make sure that you disconnect your thing first and then you have to do your grid wrapping then it will not gonna create any kind of issues so that is kind of a tip if you will face any kind of crash thing and then you can after doing your grid wrap you can merge this thing on top of this one so it will look something like this then we have uh, reddit dust from hand what is this so basically uh, in this one i'm just adding some dust thing on top of the hands so that it can just kind of match with the background properly not a big thing uh, i'm just using this dust layer that i already rendered this one is connected to this thing this dust layer so yeah it was that that thing and i'm just putting that dust on top of my hands like that then we have bakugo sliding so bakugo sliding is this one you can see the dust trail so basically i did the same thing you have to get your render pass separated volume direct volume indirect merge plus operation make sure that you use copy alpha channel or else it will not gonna work and then you have to merge it on top of your main render so if i just uh, disable this you can see like this okay um i think it will be just this much yeah you can see there so yeah that's it for this tutorial and thank you for watching